Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe our channel uh, to get daily updates about Seven Engineering. Uh, we are going to upload daily Seven Engineering videos, so please subscribe it. So right today our topic is about to find the uh, how to find the weight of the steel bars, right? So this is our today topic. We can find uh, the weight of any object uh, by uh, one of the famous relation we can say we can find the weight of steel bar at any object by this formula the weight is equal to the volume into density right let's take an example of this steel bar right so uh, we have to find its volume the area of this object and its length uh, so we get the volume and then multiplying the density of this object which we know from the experiments so we get the weight of this object right so how because the volume is in unit of uh, unit of uh, let's suppose foot cubic foot i'm taking the unit in foot so volume in cubic foot and multiplying the density in pound per cubic foot so cubic foot cubic foot will be cancelled so it remains with only pound it means the weight will be in pound if you if you use the uh, unit in terms of density in terms of kilogram so we will uh, so you have to use the kilogram uh, meter meter cube like in this way cubic meter into kilogram per cubic meter there's the volume and there's the unit uh, density so cubic meter cubic will be cancelled and the, ob the weight of the object will be in kilogram so here we will see we will uh, uh, we will do one example on this how to find the weight of steel bar now, let's take an example this is the number three bar right so its diameter will be three by eight right in inches uh, and it will be equal to the uh, point uh, let's I'm doing it three by eight right point three seven five is the end is the diameter of this bar right number three and it's taking the length of this bar is L so I'm going to find the weight of this steel bar, right? So as we know that the weight is equal to the volume multiplied by the density. And we know that the density of the steel bar is known to us for 90 pound cubic foot or 7850 kilogram per cubic meter. It is known to us from the experiments uh, that the, uh, in one cubic meter or in one cubic foot uh, 490 pound weight is involved in one cubic foot. The weight of the steel will be 490 pounds in one cubic foot volume. Alright, so here we go. We are known with the density, but we only unknown is the uh, volume of the object, right? Uh, and volume, so to find the volume, the volume of number power will be like area into length of the object, right? It's the Area unit is meter square and at meter so it become cubic meter r power foot into foot square it will become cubic foot right mm -hmm. so the area of this steel bar is will be a cylindrical so its area will be like pi by four into d square and as we know that the d we find is 0.375 so pi by four into 0.375 to square it will become two point one one in square right area of this steel bar in inch square but as we are using the and foot so we have to convert this in square into foot as we know that the uh, one foot square includes 144 in square it should be remember so one in square will be equal to the one divided by 44 foot square so a point one one into one in square is equal to the 144 so i will multiply it here so it will become in foot square right so point one one divided by 144 we are getting here on foot square point zero 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 seven six foot square is the area of this uh, bar number three bar right in foot square so I can write that the area of this number three bar is found to be point triple zero seven six foot square, and the density is also known to us 
that is 490 pound per foot per cubic foot and length of the, the object is unknown to us right we don't know about what is the length of this object so we can find the weight is the weight is equal to the volume multiplied by the density where we can place that the volume is equal to the area this volume multiplied by the length and we can place the density on its own position density so it is known to us density is known to us while length of this bar is unknown to us let's take an example it may, it may be five foot it may be six foot or it may be eight foot right so we can find the weight and area is uh, was point triple zero seven six foot square multiplied by the length of the object is unknown to us multiply by the density is known to us 490 pound per foot cube right so this foot and this foot square hole will be cancelled only one foot remaining here so um, weight will be equal to the point zero 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 seven six into length one foot also remaining here L into 490 pound per foot also one so now I'm calculating this um, 490 right so I'm getting here where W is equal to the 0 0.37 we can see almost 3.5 into pound per foot right and to length so this we found the weight of the object and in terms of we can say pound per foot right how much weight of the um, object is acting um, at the pound per foot but uh, if we multiply if any length we want let's suppose we take an example that this uh, the length of this bar is equal to the um, five foot let I'm taking the example of five foot right so I will put it simply here W is equal to the point three seven five. Simply uh, multiply by five. So what I will get? I'm multiplying it with five. One point eight seven. So it means one point eight seven pound. It will get. And this it is a unit of foot. So this foot will be cancelled with this foot if you multiply. So only we are remaining with the unit of pound, right? So this is the weight of the five uh, uh five uh, foot length of the bar right we can find the length of uh, any length uh, like at eight uh, foot or ten foot so we are just multiplying the point three seven five and two the length of the bar it may be ten foot or ten fifteen foot we multiply by this with this factor we will get it the whole length but this factor point three seven five is the unit length of the bar unit length we can see unit length here unit length while well, this is the total length of the five foot